¿Cómo está? Bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? Herman Pepeda. Herman, mi nombre es Jason. Gracias. Mucho gusto, señor. Es un movie star. <laughs> ¿Cuánto tiempo trabaja aquí? Uh, dos. ¿Dos? ¿Dos años o dos más? Un año. Un año. ¿Un año? ¿Usted? Un año. ¿Un año? Un año. There's some moisture in it if they're drying it out. Yeah, you see the material down there. Yeah. That's Cocomeca material. How do they get it that fine? That's the way it comes out, like Cocomeca. They're obtaining material that's already been processed in an arastra. And when it arrives, it's wet and has some leftover mercury in it. So every day they put the material over this basically oven. They build a fire in there and they let the fire go all night long so that they can dry the material out. They're trying to do a process called agglomeration which means they're adding a little bit of cement to the material to reduce its compaction. <laughs> Obviously here you can see the material steaming, so I don't know how much mercury they're actually exposing themselves to. So 125 sacks. 120 sacks. 120 sacks. Two, two sacks of lime. And three sacks. And three cement. sacks of cement. What are they doing here? Just breaking up the clumps? Yeah, I guess it's breaking it up. It's already dry. How do they mix the, just by hand, they just sprinkle it on there and. Oh, I'm sure. The cement they're adding is dry, along with dry lime. The reason they're adding lime is to control the pH during the cyanide leaching process. You said it doesn't have it. Huh? <laughs> the funny thing about this process is that they are not heat leaching. They are leaching in a vat and letting cyanide solution trickle slowly through the material.